on a consolidated balance sheet as of January 2nd, what should be the amount for each of the following? Um, and then it lists you off. Problem number 15. Uh, yeah, problem number 15. It asks, what are the consolidated current assets? Um, to find the consolidated current assets, of course, all you gotta do is, well, take a look up here. What's current assets of Park? 70,000. And Strand, the subsidiary, 20,000. Just add those together. Not much, not much to do about it. 70K plus 20K. Now, typically that's where you would end, but in this case, you've also got to deal with the inventory, uh, the inventory. So you can't stop there. You have to, you have to solve excess and figure out exactly how much inventory is the fair value of their inventory. So you can apply it to their current assets because it's not marked down, right? You're not, you're not just going to add the book value of the firm. You want the fair value of the firm in the consolidated balance sheet. So, let's see. We will find excess by, you know, taking what you paid for the firm, what the fair value of the firm is. I, I call it TAM, total acquisition business fair value. Sometimes I'll, I omit the FV part because I want it to, you know, look clean and cool. So I'll do that now. Um, the total acquisition business, <laughs> the TAM, in this case, is found by, remember they said proportionately up here? Didn't really make sense, but all right. Proportionately, how to find the uh, fair value of the firm? Well, 80% of the firm, uh, of the firm's fair va value. is equal to, and we bought it, 60000 It's It's not like in, in real life you're going to need to solve for the fair value of the whole thing if you were able to purchase a, a portion of it, but let's just humor everything <laughs> and get this done with. Uh, we got 60000 So, algebraically, tab can be solved. That yeah, looks a little congested. Here's the equation we're working with. Uh, algebraically, to solve this little equation, you take your firm FV uh, equals 60,000 over that 80% of the firm, and then you'll have, you'll just be given the, f the firm's fair value. Um, that's all there is to it. Pretty simple. that would come to be 75,000, which I'll put here, and may as well make it bold. Then we move on to the book value. Now this is that same old equation that they discussed a whole lot in chapter 2 and 3, so I'm not going to go into it too much. But the book value is, you find the book value, that's just the Stockholders equity in the subsidiary, that's 50,000. So let's just go ahead and add that. One, two, three. Then we, then we solve for it. Just like we would on paper, we draw that little underline thing. We write here, we label excess. And the excess comes to be 25. Thousand. So there you go. We found excess, and that's what we needed before we can figure out how much um, we're going to adjust inventory by. Now we're going to adjust inventory by sixty percent of the twenty-five thousand dollars. So here, let's just cruise on down and make our adjustments. Inventory. Fair value inventory adjustment. Thanks for <laughs> correcting my 
spelling of their value uh, 60 percent of 25 it's gonna be like 15 well it's not gonna be like 15 uh, and while we're at it let's figure out how much we're we're going to be doing goodwill but this problem is only asking about the inventory or it only requires that we find the inventory part but we're gonna figure out the goodwill too the goodwill fair value uh, the goodwill is going to be uh, 0.4 uh, because of up here it gave us this it's gonna be 0.4 times 25,000 and that's gonna come out to be a nice even 10,000 Okay. Um, now that we have this figure that we really wanted, we really wanted this in the meantime, uh, we know how much we're going to, you know, manually adjust the inventory value. Now the inventory uh, balance, uh, the inventory account, is a part of current assets, which is what we're finding. So, just add that. Wow. Well, let's just make this cool. This is how it would look in my notes. And these are my notes, so that's how it looks. And that's going to equal 105. And that is the answer for problem number 15. Well, actually, the answer is A. Uh, because it's a multiple choice problem. So that's cool. Let's uh, get this out of our face and figure out problem number 16. It is asking for non current assets, which are, you know, just non current assets. Let's go up here. Let's figure this out. Non current assets. You got 90k of park and 40k of strand. You just add non-current assets. It's very simple. They're the best account in this chapter. Now, what about... Uh, what is goodwill? Remember, we have goodwill now, and it's not recorded on this balance sheet. That's a non-current asset, as you may have already guessed. So, we add the goodwill, and we solved it last problem, and it's going to be 10K. And that's going to be just the end of that. I mean, we answered the question, is what I mean. 140,000. Now we move on to... Well, we're probably going to move on to the next lesson, which is going to be held in another video, because you can only make so long of a video. So, I'll see you then.